types of air blast circuit breakers. There are three types of air blast circuit breakers. They are air blast circuit breaker, axial blast. In this type, the air blast is directed along the arc path, cross blast. In this type, the air blast is directed at right angles to the arc path, radial blast or double blast. In this type, the air blast is directed radially. Axial blast air circuit breaker, construction and working. The contacts of the axial blast air circuit breaker, that is fixed and moving contacts, are arranged and closed by means of a spring pressure as shown in the image under normal condition. An air valve connects the air reservoir with the arcing chamber. Under normal conditions, this valve is in closed position, but it automatically opens by the tripping impulse during the occurrence of a fault. The high pressure air entering the arcing chamber through the air valve forces the moving contact to move in a direction which is opposite to the spring pressure. As the moving contact separates from the fixed contact, an arc is struck. At this instant, air at high pressure blown along the arc and the air takes away the ionized gases along with it. Consequently, the arc extinguishes and current does not flow. Cross blast air breaker, construction and working. In this type of circuit breaker, a blast of air normal to the arc is supplied. This cross blast lengthens the arc and forces it into a tube favorable for extinction of arc. The major parts of a basic cross blast air circuit breaker are shown in the image display. When the moving contact is separated from the fixed contact, an arc is struck between them. This arc, by means of a high pressure cross blast, is forced into a chute comprising of arc splitters and baffles. The splitters lengthen of the arc and baffles give improved cooling. As a result, the arc gets extinguished and the current ceases to flow. As the blast pressure for all currents is the same, the inefficiency at low currents is eliminated. The final gap for interruption is great enough to give normal insulation clearance so that a series isolating switch is not necessary. It is used to interrupt high currents up to 100 kA at lower voltages. Radial blast air breaker, construction and working. It works on the double blast breaking principle. In this case, air blast is admitted radially as shown in the image. While the flow in the arcing region is axial, that is along the direction of the arc formation, increase in the number of breaks increases the efficiency of breaker at EHV and super high voltage applications. Resistance switching is employed in the circuit breakers to reduce transient over voltages. Axial blast circuit breakers are suitable for extra high voltages.